Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on another video, guys. Today, I am so excited. I'm going to be smiling from ear to ear because this video is quite special, okay? I'm just going to get right into it. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. My name is Karina and I do a lot of fragrance, beauty and lifestyle content and also turn your post notifications on. Let's just jump right into it. As you see from the title, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite niche houses, Parfums de Marly and all of their gorgeous female fragrances. I'm going to touch up on each of them because I think they are perfect for every single woman out there. And because Mother's Day is right around the corner, this is the perfect time for this video. What makes this video so special is that I have teamed up with Parfums de Marly to give you guys an incredible code okay when you purchase any of the female fragrances on their website you can use my code karina waldron and you will be gifted a 50 ml delina shower gel as well as a delina vial set which will contain delina delina exclusive and delina la rose i mean that is an amazing amazing code so take advantage of that it will be available from april 23rd to may 10th and uh, i think it's just perfect timing if you want to gift your special lady uh something that is just going to wow her this is the perfect time so i will leave all of the details down below in the description box as well as links to all of the fragrances that i'm going to talk about and uh let, let's chat perfume so i'm going to go ahead and start off with the delinas i mean i talk about these so so much you guys have probably learned everything you need to know about delina on this channel so i'm going to go through them a little quickly and i do want to do a video on the entire delina lineup i'm talking the fragrances the candle the shower gel the hand cream the hair mist you name it we're going to do a video on that and really kind of touch more details on the delina lineup so if you want to get the Delinas for yourself or for the special lady in your life, you cannot go wrong with these ones over here. They are just absolutely spectacular compliment getters. All three of these are stunning, but they're just different variations of the original Delina. So the original Delina is definitely my favorite. It is stunning. Stunning. I mean, it's feminine, it's classy, it's elegant, it's a little sexy. It just gives this like beautiful vibe when you wear it. Um, projects amazing. Like the performance on these fragrances is pretty amazing. They last all day long and they definitely leave an incredible sillage no matter where you are. I've received compliments after compliments from complete strangers when it comes to Delina. Okay. I don't care where I am. I could be walking down the street and someone will stop me to tell me that my fragrance smells amazing or what are you wearing? Like, <laughs> this is an incredible scent. Um, For me, Delina is just like bridal vibes, I feel like anyways, but it definitely has a little bit of this um tardiness, this spiciness, a sharpness to her, a little bit of an incense vibe. So it's different and unique and a little daring. But all at the same time, everything is very balanced and well-rounded and it's just magic in a bottle. This is the Lena exclusive. And to me, the main difference between the original and the exclusive is that this is a little bit more creamy um than the original one it doesn't have that punch that i get from the original delina they're both absolutely stunning but if you wanted something a little bit more creamy um i wouldn't say casual because they're both really stunning and just appropriate for many many occasions i would just say that this one is a little creamy in the sense that the way it dries down. So not as much of that sharpness, that incense vibe that the original has, but both the performance on these two are equally the same. And I definitely get compliments on absolutely both of them. So it doesn't really matter which one you get. It really depends on the note that you gravitate towards. But again, this one is just like a little bit more creamy. It's a little flirty um, than the original Delina, in my opinion. It has this very like sensual vibe to it. And it's just absolutely stunning. And I mean, these bottles, like 
gifting these bottles is everything the presentation is beautiful they have a lot of weight to them the cap is stunning all the details on here is beautiful and now we're going to talk about Delina La Rose and this is the newest launch from Parfums de Marley when it comes to the female fragrances and also the Delina lineup this is gorgeous it's a beautiful signature scent fragrance because you can wear this all day long it's absolutely perfect for summer time because this is a fresher airy light version of the original delina it is absolutely beautiful when you first spray this fragrance it has this like burst of freshness it really kind of lifts up your mood and puts a smile on your face like i said it's very fresh and airy has a little bit more of a citrusy tone than the original delina but i love that you still get the rosy notes in here and it's not just a simple plucked out of the garden rose so if you're afraid that it's going to be too rosy it really isn't to me there's a lot of different elements to this fragrance that takes it to another level when it comes to fresh bright uh summer fragrances it is so so beautiful very classy and elegant and i really love this one as a matter of fact between all of the delinas my husband's favorite is delina la rose he just says it smells really pleasant it's not overly sweet overly incensey overly oody it's not overly heavy it's actually very light and airy and just beautiful it's really really beautiful so if you're looking for something a little bit more fresh lighter very approachable very wearable this is an amazing amazing option now let's talk about Cassili, and this was my second fragrance from parfums de marley absolutely love this one it's a beautiful fruity florals fragrance to me it definitely has all the elements that you need for that balanced mixture of fruit and florals there's gorgeous notes in here i mean there is mimosa there's frangipan i believe there's plum in here the base is stunning there's the tonka beans there's vanilla in here so it's a sweet fragrance but it's not sugar sweet it's like a very creamy wearable sweet fragrance and it smells a little tropical to me it definitely has that creamy nature to it which is so beautiful for warmer days but I definitely feel like a lot of the Delina fragrances many of them not all of them but many of them you can definitely pull off all year round this one is one of them Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. If you like um, sweet fragrances, if you like the vanilla note to be a little bit more prominent, you will definitely enjoy Cassili. It's a little bit more playful and a little more casual, I find, than like, say, the original Delina. It is absolutely beautiful. If you like your fragrances to have a little bit more fruity notes in there, and I'm talking very beautiful, creamy, fruity notes, then this is a great option with that being said i don't find it overly fruity there is another fragrance here that i will talk about that's definitely more fruity prominent but this is a really nice balance between fruity and floral fragrances in here so absolutely love this one now if you're looking for something extremely fruity to me this is the perfect one over here this is meliora and i mean the bottle is stunning like you really can't go wrong with this bottle like this is so beautiful and elegant this to me is like a fruit cocktail it smells oh my god it smells so fresh and light, almost like mouth watering. It is absolutely beautiful. If you love your fruity scents, but you don't want every single kind of note to jump at you. You want everything to be really well balanced. This is a perfect one. And it's so appropriate for the summertime, which is right around the corner. It is gorgeous. It has a little bit of this greenness in the background to me, which adds a little bit more freshness also and kind of balances all the other notes in here. So it's not just fruit. You do get a little bit more sophistication, a little bit more depth with this fragrance. But I think it's just like a very gorgeous fresh wearable fruity scent still has a little bit of sweetness still quite feminine and approachable 
oh it's beautiful it's absolutely stunning so this is for the ladies that love their fruity light scents that still have a little bit more character this is a gorgeous gorgeous option so the next fragrance we're going to talk about some boss vibes over here and this is a thalia like when you look at this bottle you know she means business this is sophisticated this is confidence this is a woman okay boss vibes all the way it is just an entire vibe in a bottle this is warm it's a spicy um has a little bit of powderiness in the dry down it's definitely more of a white floral fragrance to me oh Oh, 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 oh. This is so beautiful. It's very, very sophisticated and elegant. Like every single time I smell this one, it smells very lavish and luxe. It's just perfect for like a special occasion. You want to leave an incredible, confident first impression. This is the fragrance that you need in your life. It is, oh, so refreshing find and so balanced off it's a little powdery but to me it's not overly done because you guys know that i can't do very very powdery scents this fragrance is just perfect for any special occasion i mean you can definitely wear this one as a signature scent but i feel like it's just so sophisticated and so elegant gorgeous gorgeous i think it's beautiful for date night also i do find it a little sexy but it's just it's boss vibes all the way very luxe very rich and it just has this very kind of like silky smoothness to it like when i say it sits on the skin a little powdery i'm thinking like a very silky smooth powdery like it's really hard to describe here but to me the feeling is just sophistication this one is sophistication like for me delina is beautiful it's bride vibes this one sophisticated elegant boss vibes it's very 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 luxurious to me so if you have that lady in your life that is very boss vibes she loves her sophistication she loves dressing up very well making sure she's very put together this is the best fragrance to compliment her like i love this one it's gorgeous so now we're going to talk about something that is a little bit more on the sweet side i think this is definitely considered more of a crowd pleasing scent there are so many people that will definitely definitely enjoy this one and that is darcy oh darcy look at the bottle i mean is this not catching your eye like gorgeous gorgeous bottle it's very daring very loud very like it's going to capture your attention instantly darcy is beautiful it's quite sweet to me and it's definitely a sweeter fragrance oh my gosh this one you will pick up on the patchouli note which i really really like i find with a lot of my sweet fragrances that patchouli in there grounds everything and makes it really balanced off so you're not just getting this very sickening sweet fragrance and to me they did it perfectly with this scent to me this one is just gorgeous and perfect for someone who loves their kind of sweet fragrances something very playful very wearable also it wears really beautifully on the skin it's very feminine to me and again you have to like a little bit more sweetness in your fragrance i feel like with darcy you can pretty much wear it any time of the day to me it's definitely a kind of like an all year round type of fragrance same with athalia i can wear this one all year round for sure but i definitely feel like this is perfect for evening wear it's just a little bit more um appropriate for that in my opinion anyways um with darcy i've worn it during the day and it's absolutely beautiful it's just it's a sweet balm over here it doesn't come off like super super young to me i can see a ton of different age groups really pulling this off it's just a matter of preference do you like more sweetness in your fragrance then you can definitely pull this one off think of like um cocoa 
Mademoiselle, from Chanel. If you like those kind of fragrances, you will definitely enjoy Darcy in your collection. But to me, it's just a little bit more refined, a little bit more elegant, but not too um, serious. It's a little bit more playful in my opinion, especially with that sweet tone. Oh, it's beautiful, 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 and definitely can go with a lot of different occasions. This, this can easily be a signature scent, 100%. So that is Darcy. So we're down to two more fragrances. This, oh, this one is gorgeous. It is so gorgeous. And I feel like these two are a little bit underrated. Honestly, I don't hear about them as much as I hear about Zelina or Casilli, but I think they are stunning. I actually just spray this one to let it dry down. Oh my God. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So this one is Safanade and oh God, the bottles, the bottles always get me like you just are captivated and look at the juice on this one. It's a work of art. It is, it is a work of art. To me, Safanade is a little bit more mature. And the last one that I'm going to talk about also, it's a little bit more maturity in there, but still very sophisticated, very ladylike and just elegant. It has a bit of a powdery dry down. It's definitely for me more of a white floral fragrance. It's a bit more creamy. The vanilla note in here, I'm, I'm definitely picking this one up. It's just elegance like the last two I'm going to describe very similar because to me they are sophisticated and elegant and just a little bit more mature but like it's so stunning really really stunning you cannot go wrong with these last two especially if you are gifting this to your mom I think that they would absolutely love love these two fragrances I plan to gift the last one to my mom she won't know she doesn't really watch my YouTube channel so I'm just gonna say it out loud I plan to gift the last one to my mom but this one is gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous um even though it's very elegant very sophisticated I still feel like these are appropriate for any time of the day definitely all year round type of fragrances I wouldn't reserve this just for spring summer winter I think that they just go with every occasion and they are just so approachable not overly sweet not overly powdery not overly woody it's just a perfect balance okay a perfect balance the mixture of these notes were done so amazingly that it's just so wearable and again perfect as a mother's day scent absolutely perfect i i really really like this one a lot it dries down beautifully the last one that i'm going to talk about honey when i smelled this one i was pretty blown away it's been on my perfume tray for the last couple of weeks because i have been wearing it so much and I just love how sophisticated this scent is and I really really wish that more people started talking about this one because it's highly underrated this one is Sudbury and oh my goodness I have fallen in love with this scent so much it definitely is a little bit more mature than a lot of the other scents that we talked about especially when we're touching on Casilli and Delina I find this one is definitely more mature but it's a maturity that is so elegant and just beautiful. I absolutely love this. And I'm definitely more into mature scents as I get older. Um, my palette is definitely changing. And this style of fragrance is everything to me. Like, I cannot wait until I can get super dressed up, spray this all over me, have my little Chanel handbag heels on, and actually go out to like a vineyard or like a steakhouse and enjoy the day smelling like this oh I can't wait this smells absolutely divine so to me this is more of a white floral fragrance also the opening is a little bit more fresh but you will get like a hit of lavender in there mmm it's very unique like I don't have another scent that smells like this one and that's the beauty with the parfum the Marley fragrances they're very very unique and exclusive to the brand 
oh yeah it's stunning it's a little bit powdery in the dry down but not overly i do find that safanade is a little bit more powdery than this one on my skin it's a bit creamy it's like the bottle when you look at the bottle it really is the best representation of the way that this fragrance smells it's feminine it's elegant it's lavish very very classy scent it's absolutely stunning for any time of the day it's a perfect like signature scent for sure um very approachable it's not obnoxious it's just well balanced you have to like a little bit of powdery in your fragrance it's fresh skin vibes to me this smells clean fresh but it has a little a soft warm spiciness to her also oh it's so stunning it is absolutely gorgeous again it's on the mature side if you like chanel's um cocoa you will enjoy this one. So the original Chanel Coco kind of reminisces this fragrance in my mind, that maturity level, that very vintage classy kind of vibe that you get. This is it in a bottle. It's so, so beautiful. Again, don't forget to use my code to get you the gift with purchase, which is amazing. You're going to get the 50 ml Delina shower gel as well as the Delina vials, which will come with the Delina, Delina exclusive and Delina La Rose. So whether you are picking up one of these fragrances, you will still have the chance to try out all of the Delinas and even gift it with the fragrance so that is an amazing amazing thing so i will link everything down below once again in the description box so definitely check it out there all the links to the fragrances also will be down there um i hope you guys are doing incredibly well and definitely leave your comments down below let me know what is your favorite perfumes and marley scent if you haven't tried any which one are you excited to try and what are you going to do on Mother's Day? Leave your comments down below. I would love to chat with you guys. And if there are any particular fragrances that you want to see a dedicated video on, also leave me a comment down below. As always, thank you so much for joining me on another one. And I will see you on another video. Ciao!